know about you, but it seems like it was just yesterday that we were preparing to start a new millennium and all the concerns about what would happen when we changed from 19 to 20. And now we're at the end of the first decade of it. It's good to come together and pray as we turn the, the page to a, a brand new year. And Eucharist itself is a term which means to give thanks. So part of what engages us today is thankfulness for what's happened in the past year. Might have been a marriage in the family, a, a new baby, a successful business venture, a reconciliation, a new job, success in overcoming an addiction, or whatever it might be. But in reality, for many others of us, it might not be so obvious why we should be giving thanks for what happened in 2008. There might have been severe economic problems, personal and social. There might have been sickness or death or loss of employment, a relationship that fell apart. But in a sense, we could give thanks for those things, not because those things are good, but for the strength and support that we had to get through it. That the assistance of friends and family and faith that enables us to look forward, to go on. There's, in the new year, there's always new possibilities, new beginnings, new adventures. As we pray on this feast that honors Mary, Maybe in a special way we could ask for her to intercede for us and asking God to give us the strength and the fortitude to face the challenges that may well be ahead. We ask for God's insight to be able to comprehend certain issues and problems we might have in life. And we ask that God might help us to see the good that is within us and in the good that is within the other who will often help me in the difficult and dark moments. January 1st is also a day that the church invites us to pray for peace. And there's always room for that prayer in our own circle, but certainly in our, in our political life as well. Once again, the Middle East is at the brink of war, and we still have soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan and, and elsewhere. May our thoughts and prayers tonight be for peace. And may the end of 2009 find us in a group that has lots to be thankful for, that we ask the Lord to bless us and help us, even in the difficult moments, to see the love and concern that the other has for us. It is a new beginning.